course it does help if you switch the microphone on so morning so here we are another sunday morning rant and there's been a few weeks be between the last one and this one predominantly because of stuff that's going on in my personal life which i sort of did a rant about when i was away in jamaica earlier in the year and my business life so uh, something had to take a hit and unfortunately the rant took the hit um so between the last rant and this phone, what are the most notable pieces of news? Well, most notable piece of news is the Winnie the Pooh mug is no more. Unfortunately, during the gap between this rant and the last rant, the Winnie the Pooh mug jumped off the side and smashed into millions of pieces. So I've now replaced it with a Transylvania mug. Um, I am looking for a bigger mug actually, but this one will suffice for the time being. So cheers. Um, the second piece of news is Aretha Franklin unfortunately died, um, which is uh, really interesting because I loved playing Aretha Franklin Jack when I was learning to play. Um, really soulful type stuff, and if you get a singer who can really build them out, oh, it's good, really good fun. Um, and also we had Roland 808 Day. And there were many things about what was going to happen on 808 Day. And I, I sort of secretly hoped that we would get the Roland MX-2, uh, which would be the upgrade to the Roland MX-1. Unfortunately, that has not appeared, which is a real shame. I think Roland are really missing a piece there. What they did give us, though, is they did give us an upgrade to the System 8 on 808 Day. So if, like me, you own a System 8, you must, you must think it's Christmas this year because after waiting two years, or almost two years, for a firmware update, 2.0 sort of trundled into existence earlier in the year. Um, and I must admit, I haven't uploaded 1.2.0. I should, I should have just got on with it, and I haven't for one reason or another. Uh, but 1.2.0 sort of turned up, and that sort of gave us um, another couple of variations on the FM on the oscillators, which were two additional FM oscillators. Uh, and it also gave us a number of variations on the filters as well. So it gave us uh, a Juno filter, a JP8 filter, uh, a format, two format filters, and a harmonic filter, uh, which was all well and good and, and great. Uh, uh, da, da, da. And it also gave us, it gave us this sort of new uh, ability to do overdubs in the step sequencer, which I still have to be honest and say I'm, I don't quite understand that um, because I haven't really been playing with it recently. So I'm assuming it's the ability to just drop into the step sequencer and and carry on. Um, but of course, so what I did with that is because I was looking it up and trying to work out what it did. I went and downloaded the latest update of this. Now, Roland have updated this, so um, unfortunately it doesn't seem to have all the pieces of information that I um, was specifically asking for. Um, maybe if I sort of read it as I'm playing with it again, maybe that will make more sense, but I didn't see what I was, I was really after in terms of the overdub feature. Um, so that arrived and then there was a, a major bug fix and the major bug fix was around performances where you loaded the performance in and it didn't load. Uh, sorry, and you saved the performance data, sorry, and it didn't save. So you make, and it was, that was Trezor and I must admit. Um, but they came along with 1.2 and then, you know, 808 day, the big announcement, we got 1.3 and 1.3 gave us a JP JX3P synthesizer into plug out three. So of course that's now, so you now got the boutique JX3P, which I actually use quite a lot, I have to be honest. Uh, and you've also got the system eight that now has the ability to replicate a JX3P. So, so that arrived on 808 day and that's probably the most exciting thing about 808 day i can find really everything else on 808 day was a bit of a letdown there was sort of some new stuff for sorrento well i don't use sorrento so it's a bit useless for me um there was a couple of bits for for v drums which might be interested if i go down the v drum route at some point but um, i'm not at the moment so from a keyboard player really not an awful lot what I have noticed with Roland is they are incredibly pushing the Roland Cloud 
component at the moment. So they're putting more and more of the synthesizers up on, onto the cloud that you can then effectively download and rent um, for plugins to your door. Uh, while I'm in favor of that to an extent, I'm not sure I quite like the whole rental model. And the reason I don't like the rental model, if I'm honest, is because you ha rather than just being able to buy and use, you're now effectively having to pay a monthly rental. And if you don't pay the monthly rental, all of a sudden it stops working. Now that to me is painful, especially if you're trying to do something. So, you know, it, it's locking you into a constant revenue stream. And I get why Roland do it because it's the software companies are trying to do exactly the same thing. I mean, the whole cloud uh, thing is all about extracting a constant revenue stream from the youth user. Um, so I can see why Roland and the other manufacturers are starting to sort of look at the whole sort of uh, online presence and being able to download and rent the software. So that I get. I'm just not sure whether I actually like that or not. I'd prefer to sort of, st rather than stump up 10 quid a month, I'd rather stump up 100 quid, pay for it and, and be done with it. But that's me personally. I don't know how you guys think. Some some people are probably thinking, oh, great, this is own £10 a month and I've got £10 a month. But believe you me, if you're sort of doing it with Roland and then you're doing it with Yamaha and then you're doing it with Korg and then you're doing it with Kawaii or, or whoever else, that £10 a month all of a sudden becomes quite a big expenditure going out every single month or whatever it happens to be. I mean, it could, I'm, I'm saying £10 because I haven't really looked at the subscription for a while, so I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's $10 or is it $20, it's, but it's something like that. Uh, and I'm not I'm not 100% sold on the whole rental market. There are certain things I am really sold on the rental thing, so I lease my car. Probably a lot of people lease their cars. At the end of three years, you give it back, you get a nice shiny new one, great thing. I do think the car industry is going to end up with a massive great big bubble of used cars in a few years time that they can't shift but that's not my problem that's their problem because they've chosen to do that um but with this whole problem um the rental thing i'm not I'm not, I'm not with it but it does lead me on to one of the things that's been on the user groups recently and that is if you took the trial period and you downloaded the uh the system 8 uh, patch manager um, component. What traditionally has happened is when the subscription has expired you've been able to keep the patch manager. All right you've, you've lost the ability to any additional patches or any additional components that you haven't bought. They, they all cease but the actual patch manager itself has continued to function. So you've been able to effectively shove your patches off the system 8 into the patch manager and manage them there and then shove, shunt them back to the system 8. Now, Roland have recently changed how the, the, the cloud model works. Um, and I should mention, actually, that Roland Corporation and the Roland Cloud Provider are actually not the same people. They're different co companies. Whether they're connected somewhere up the company structure or not, I don't know. But they are actually different companies, um, just operating under the Roland banner. Um, I should m just mention that because... You know, it's one of those things where they present themselves as Roland and you think they're Roland, but they are actually a different company. But anyway, what they've done is they've changed something in the licensing model so that when the, um, the da, 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 what's the word I'm looking for, when the, the test, the, the um, oh, the brain's gone dead. But when your test period effectively has um, expired, the patch manager is stopping working now and lots of people have been commenting on this on the forums um, so effectively if you want the Roland patch manager now and you haven't pre-downloaded it with a, a prior uh, subscription to the Roland cloud you're gonna have to pay for it and it will only work while the the uh, subscription is live mm, trial so while you're in that trial period great but as soon as the trial period ends you either get the credit card out and you start paying or you lose the functionality which i think is probably wrong but again you know this is the, this is the whole thing about the subscription model again i would rather see the option there to say right i want that piece of software i'm prepared to pay for the piece of software but i don't want your subscription roland why can't i do that so 
that's that's 808 Dave really and that is probably enough for today's rent see you next time bye so this is the point in the video where I turn around to you my viewer and say if you enjoyed the content of this video please give it a thumbs up the way the Google and YouTube analytic engines work is that the more likes you get against the video the more it gets promoted by YouTube and Google and therefore more people with the similar interest to what you have and I have get to see this content. This channel is driven by my love of music technology. That's what it's called the Music Tech Guy for. If you've got queries, want to ask questions about themes or issues I raise on this channel, please, please, please do put your comments into the uh, comment section below the video and I will try to address whatever issue it is you've raised or whatever question you've raised. If it's something to do with me making future videos in terms of uh, how to do something on a particular piece of equipment I possess, please feel free to say that as well. I can't promise to make videos on all the requests I get, but I do have a jolly good go at making most of them. Around about here is the subscribe button. Again, to do with the uh, YouTube and Google analytic process, the more subscribers the channel gets, the more the channel gets promoted, and the more people get to see the content that you have obviously just watched. If you want to see my latest video, it will be in one of these two boxes on this side of the screen. Also, there is a second box there, and that video will be chosen for you by YouTube based on your YouTube preferences. I look forward to the next time that we interact, and I do mean interact because I always enjoy reading your comments back to me. But for now, bye-bye.